Okay, so let's go ahead and explore to see what the fly launch command added. The first thing of note is that we have a new Docker file. The Docker file is generated by the fly launch command. It's going to use an Alpine base image, which is nice and small. It's going to install PHP 8 by default, although you can change that to 8.1 or whatever you want if you need. And then it'll do all the things it needs to to run your application. It'll install composer dependencies. It'll install things for Octane if it sees that Laravel Octane is installed. And it's aware if you're going to use Roadrunner instead of Swool for Octane. It's going to install your Node.js dependencies, depending on if it sees a yarn lock or a package lock file, and it's going to build your static assets. It's going to build that all into the final container, and then it's going to deploy that. That's going to get pushed to a Docker registry that Fly has. And then from that registry, Fly is going to pull the image, do the magic it does to turn that Docker image into a virtual machine, and it's going to run it. We have a Docker ignore file. The files in here do not end up in your Docker image, so you can add to this if you'd like. And then we have a Docker directory, and inside of the Docker directory is all the stuff it uses to configure your application. So you can actually tweak this as needed. And the next time you deploy, those changes will be pulled in. So if you don't like how we configured something, you can change it however you'd like. Now, one thing you might want to change, especially is the supervisor.conf file, because there's a bunch of things in there, a bunch of use cases in there you might want to run inside your Fly virtual machine. So by default, it has Nginx, and it's going to run PHP FPM as well, so that Nginx can send route requests to PHP. But you also might want to uncomment this stuff and enable cron, right? So this is going to enable a cron daemon, and that is automatically configured to run your PHP artisan schedule run command. So if I open up the uh, cron tab file here, you can see it's going to run as your user app here the PHP artisan schedule run command. So it's going to run that automatically if you simply enable the cron daemon to be run here. You could also enable a queue worker by deleting this stuff, and it will run the PHP artisan queue work command. It's going to default to the SQS driver, but of course you can change that to whatever makes sense for you, the database driver or Redis driver if you're running Redis, whatever you want. You can change the number of processes to whatever makes sense for your application as well, and that'll get you up and running with a cron daemon to run the scheduler, a queue worker to run your queues. And of course, you can keep Nginx and PHP FPM running if you'd like as well. Just a side note, this might be a little bit different because if you are running Laravel Octane, then you don't need PHP FPM and then this will just not be present. Okay, so that's enough of that. Um, the Docker file exists here. The Docker files exist here. The Docker ignore file exists here. That's all generated by the fly launch command. You can tweak those as you need and run a new deploy to get those changes pulled in. 